first of all, I want you to understand the difference between cyber law and technology law. When we talk about cyber law, most of the time we are talking about sections of the IT Act, right? So, for example, we have uh, cyber law, like you know, we have hacking, like sixty six A section sixty six A, or any of those sections which talks about different offenses under the IT Act. Those are generally referred to as cyber law matters by lawyers in common parlance. But when you talk about technology law, the scope is a bit wider. What is the scope in of technology law? So then, even like things like Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which you use to like combat piracy in the in the online space, in the cyber space, or technology contracts. When you were talking about drafting technology contracts, there are special clauses that go into a technology contract that may not go into any other. Card type of contract, so that gets included. GDPR, which is like General Data Protection Rules, we in, in India also have a Data Protection Bill, which is expected to become a law soon. So you have this kind of a uh, lot of different laws which are not strictly cyber law as such, but they come into the ambit of technology law. Also, like fintech regulation, financial technology regulation, regulation of cryptocurrencies, regulation of payments and settlements, online payments and settlements, all of that suddenly become relevant within the sphere of technology law. There are other things also, like you know, net neutrality, for example, that also comes into the ambit of technology law, but not necessarily within the ambit of cyber law, so to speak. Now. you can say that no no anything that governs the cyber space is cyber law which is fine that's also a valid definition i have no uh, battle to pick with that but yeah there is technology which is outside cyber space there's a lot of different technology although cyber space is connected in one way or the other but even those things are generally technology law is considered to be a wider term and i think we are migrating towards a wider term technology law over a period of time because cyber law sometimes do not describe everything that we want to describe about the work of technology law